Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our Complete Beginner's Guide Let's Play Combination of Medieval Dynasty. And I say that because, well, at this point, I know some of what's going on, but I'm learning so much from all of you and your own experiences playing along with the guide or on your own, and it's so great to uh, share information with everyone about the game. So I've learned some really cool things which is that, for example, at the smith, she can actually produce more bars if we make her happy, and if we were to upgrade uh, the workshop that she's using on to a higher level. So, you know, um, I don't know. I can add insulation, I can remove insulation, I can destroy, build, repair, but I don't think I'm um, necessarily at an upgrade yet. Now, I need Dob. And, uh, let's see. How am I to produce something amazing like Dob? Huh? So, let's find out about that. Let's look at... What would it take... to produce that? Can I craft it? Is that a... Is that a thing I can make? Let's look. Is it a is it a handcrafting? I mean, probably not. But also, I can. This is where I could make the campfire. By the way, I somehow missed that. Um, it's. It's in uh, miscellaneous... No, no, no. It's in... Oh, where did I just find that? I do... Oh, just right here in campfires. Um, if I wanted to make that fire. But also if I made their houses nicer. You know, if we, like, produce some better houses, uh, decorations and things for people in their house, uh, we could really make their place more desirable and increase their happiness... Well, guess what? I just looked this up, and we can make Dom at the barn. And we need to unlock this recipe for, I think, 50 coins. And then this will allow us, at this workbench, uh, to produce Dom by using straw and clay. So I could assign a villager. I could buy it right here. I'll just do it. Uh, and I could also make fertilizer with manure or rot. And uh, let's see. We could make animal feed. But let's you know make Dom for this but we need to get clay and you know getting clay is you take a shovel and you go to a clay area but I don't know if I can have my you know villagers in any way gather that now I was worried about the fact that she's not going to be able to plant um, the onion but then I thought to myself you know what I already have this field set to onion and guess what she can't plant it now but she can plant it um, next season, you know, so tomorrow, uh, as it were, this should grow, and then the onion should be ready to plant, so that'll be good. Now, let's see. Now, conveniently, I believe there's a clay deposit that's, like, right next to our place. We know that there's clay over by Sam Boar, um, but I think that we could get some clay. I don't know if they mark it on the map or not. Uh, nah, it doesn't look great like that's going to be marked. But we can go get the clay, and then there's clay by Sambor, and I think it replenishes every season. So let me see if I can find this clay pit that's right in this area and try to get some before the season elapses. I should be just about right on top of this clay. I wonder if I can see it with my sight beyond sight. Well, I can see all of this, uh, these berries, which is pretty phenomenal. Uh, that looks not quite like clay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get my shovel out, I guess. Beep. 
Where did my shovel go? Don't I have a nice one? I don't think I gave it away. Let me see here. Yeah, bronze shovel. Equip that right there. You know it. All right. And All right, here I am on the map. I do do do. It might be. Oh, look, what's this over here? Is this it? Yes, look at all this. Okay, so here's clay. And these are clay right here. So perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and select my shovel. And I'm just going to dig this. Now, we need building technology points. Oh, there's a shovel right by this. This looks like a metal shovel, too. It's a bronze shovel. That's a free shovel. Give this to the team. And, oh, there's just a bunch of clay right here as well. Well... Bless my stars. What a what a fortunate pickup. So we can come right back here uh, tomorrow when it's the next season and gather. All right. Clay, clay, clay. Now we can make some daub. I'll make it myself. I also believe that if I upgrade the structures, and I don't think insulating them is going to upgrade them. I think it'll just be nicer for them to work there. But eventually, as I upgrade the structures, more people can work there. And so we can assign more workers to do the tasks that we want. I was thinking I was just going to build more of everything, you know, more workshops of all types just to get things going. But I don't know if I necessarily have to do that. I might have to up front. All right, so we're getting a good amount of clay. Okay, tremendous. So if you're interested in finding this clay deposit, you can just check. This is where I'm at on the map. I'm kind of between the settlement that we started and Gustovia. All right, that's pretty good. And let's run home. There's some animals if we wanted to strike them down. Not quite good enough at hunting to uh, spot them. But berries are good to collect. I mean, everything's, I guess, good in a way to collect. So insulating these homes with the daub that we produce... Ooh, that fox ran away. I thought for a second we had it. I was like, oh, you was going to stand there? No, he's not. All right. Insulating these homes will allow us to use less firewood, and I think it also makes them slightly happier. Maybe we can even decorate them with the wicker baskets that we have. Oh, got a new level in survival. That seems good. Get these logs out of here. All right, great. And let's just check out our new skill level in survival. Okay, uh, we can do proficient. Uh, we can boost experience from survival activities. Cold resistance, poison resistance, uh, more health. Alcohol, faster in water, less damage received. Uh, we should probably take less damage received. So we can fight stuff and hunt a little bit more successfully. I come over here and then I can make this um, daub. I can make four of it. So let's do it. Oh, actually, I made 40 of it, so that should be phenomenal for uh, helping people out. All right, so this house right here, if I want, uh, I could decorate this house with, uh, you know, uh, some of these other options. I don't have the stuff to do that, but that's cool. You could put, like, shutters and things on. Um, let me go ahead and change my build mode to insulate.
and you can see how much it takes to do this. So uh, this house I know has two people in it, so we could just go ahead and insulate this bad boy. Oh, and look, it changes the appearance. It looks amazing. Well, just for that, it's worth it. And we're out, but we really tried. Okay, so we need to get... Uh, is it more clay or more straw what we need? Let me see what my inventory says. Hmm. It's both, sadly. That is tough. That's a lot of clay that you need. I don't get that much. Uh, that's okay. Uh, we're getting thirsty anyway. Go ahead. Collect the reed. Remember all that reed we collected and I was like just unbelievably happy? It's gone. Just like that. Cool thing is, though, we'll get a whole bunch of new quests that we can do in the summer as well, or the next season as well. But we are going to start needing to getting warmer clothing for our people so that we don't freeze to death. Because right now I'm wearing burlap. I don't even know how rightly to uh, make that happen. Like, other than just buying them warmer clothing, and that seems like it's going to be expensive. Yeah, I actually have the straw. It's the clay at this point, so I don't need to go gathering. I just need to uh, get more. Everybody's standing around in the dark. I'm sorry. Our settlement isn't quite that great. We did it. Look at this. It is the fall. So now we can talk to Alwyn. Notice how I got all my food there, by the way, for to go into the next season. So, um, and look at this. So we got all these cabbages. She'll harvest it, but doesn't that look awesome? Look how much cabbage. And we can go talk to Alwyn. And some of these quests should be quite wonderful for us. I'm going to check my uh, technology situation. I have 598, so... If I want to mine, I need 5,000 building technology. Um, that's quite a lot that I need, so I need to build many things. Oh, look at these mushrooms. That's cool. wonder if that's a fall phenomenon. A little foggy out. Let's go back first thing and get all this clay. It'll be nicer in the winter if we can make everybody's house a little bit more efficient. Here we go. The clay pit. So that only gives you seven. <laughs> and it's all over. Oh, brutal. I think somebody was telling me in the comments that the like treasure chests or things that you find out in the wild they can replenish. It might take a day or a few days or it might be seasonal, but there is an opportunity for them to get filled again. So you can kind of uh, go looting happily and get more stuff. So I got a little bit of clay here. More clay down here. 
Ага. Great. All right. Let's see. Couple more here. Let's scoop it up. I also might want to just complete the, the Sambor quest. Uh, and maybe you get a windfall of technology points for doing those. And it's worth it's worth investigating. Either way, you usually get pretty good rewards. So the town is kind of doing its own thing. It's okay for the time being. Let's see what kind of aim we need. That was a little bit too high. That's a shame. Overcompensated a bit much on that one. I also learned it's not a good idea to buy a horse until we get a stable to put them in. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, are there any men that would like recruiting? Not that guy. He's like, I'm very happy with my position. How dare you? Okay. Oh, all in. Hey, he got a little hood on. Is that new? Yeah, what's new with you? You look different. I've been thinking a lot lately about what I'm going to do with my life and what I truly desire. And I want to try something new. I'd like to learn how to shoot a bow. Sounds like a very serious life decision. For me, it is. Would you help me find that hunter who sells bows? I don't know what awaits me along the trail, and you clearly know how to survive on the road. An unexpected journey, you say? Count me in. Great, lead the way. We can also ask... Uh, Falibor, where the hunter exactly resides. Let's go. Oh, wait, are you following me? I think you are. Um, talk to Falibor. Okay, uh, let me check the map here. Let me just see where you want me to go. Oh, just right across the river where the guy that we uh, were buying stuff from before. I also wanted to see if there are any quests in... Gustovia, yes, there are. There's a quest like. Are do you have the quest? Yes. So, Beermir, can I help you with something? I lost my bucket that I need for milking. Could you bring me another? Yes. Uh, I don't. Do I have the bucket? Let me look at my inventory. Sometimes I have a bucket. I mean, it's a thing that I occasionally carry. I know I have some at my house. I might have to buy this for you. I could try to make it, I guess. Nah, it doesn't look like I got a bucket. It's alphabetical. I don't. All right. We'll do that in a bit. Unless I... St I can just steal one. New building unlocked. Hen house. Oh. Well, I don't know how that happened, but... Okay, great. Let's get a hen house. See, look at this. This person put Dob all over. They smeared clay and straw all over their place to fortify it. My God, we're behind. All right. Now, here's the question, Alwyn. Can you follow me with my little... Oh, there's a animal husbandry. You can breed different animals. Chickens, gigs, uh, geese, pigs, goats, sheep, cows, donkeys, and horses. They require special buildings to live in. They're obtained from villages all across the valley. Simply walk over to the animal you'd like to purchase and interact with it. If you have a specific building to keep it in and enough coins, it'll be transferred to your settlement. So I don't have that for the horse, for example. They provide various resources like eggs, milk, or wool, but it will only happen after they're properly fed. And so we have to make that animal feed in our barn. They'll produce manure, which helps us make fertilizer. So we should definitely get some animals. That sounds like the best idea. All right. 
Now, Alwyn, I have a pretty unorthodox approach. You can look at the map. I'm heading straight for it. This is as the crow flies or as the duck swims. I don't know if you've heard this expression, but this is how we're going to roll. He's on it. He's like, I know this method. I walk across the river all the time. All right, dude, this is just what it takes. If you want to be a great hunter, I'll win. This is what it takes. Walking shoulder deep in the water, never letting your hat fall off your head, drinking even as you stroll, maintaining your strut, And then running up to people you'd like to interact with, dripping wet. It's just part of the game. Now look at this stone house. This house is for ballers only. Hello. Some time ago you mentioned that a certain hunter had bows for sale. Could you please tell us where we can find him? Yes, however, it's not him but her. The hunter's name is Gazella. She lives far to the west in the village of Lesnica. Thank you. Let's move on. Take care in the forest and on the road. I warn you, though, Gazella has quite a temper. We'll watch our backs. Thanks for all the advice. And just understand, my friend, that if Gazella does anything to us, I will come back and seek retribution upon you for not properly warning us of her temper. All right. Oh, look at this. There's quests all over the place. Uh, so they want us to actually go to um, Lesnica. And then there's quest in Rolnica, Tuck to Key. So the, most of the quests this season are kind of a little bit further out, but that's fine. Now, Alwyn, I hate to do this to you. You know, it's kind of rude and everything, but since I'm already over here, dude, I might talk to Sambor. Oh, you're a dude. Um... Look at this. So yet somebody told me this in the comments too. Thank you so much, everyone, for your advice. If you hold down um, your sight beyond sight, your like your vision, you could see this person's stats. Like this guy is a professional fisherman. He's pretty good at most things. Um, that guy is a good hunter, level three hunter. And Zamir's like I ain't in. So I think I can just say, uh, you want to join? Great. See you there. And he's in. And then we can go to management. We can go to houses. And um, in our houses, we should have some houses that only have, like, one person, this one. And you're in. What's your name, dude? Unirad. You're in. You just don't put the moves on, Zabignewa. I've, I'm thinking about it. All right? I'm just kind of got, I got our things to do right now. All right, let's see here. Um, but whatever happens, happens. Uh, let's see barn um, no assignments I'm going to assign oh. can I assign him to something else I mean I can assign him to this I just don't have enough stuff for him to actually produce it but we will you know what we'll, I'll assign him to it and I'll be like in, oh, in the barn where you are uh, we're going to make um, dob, like all the dob, and I'll give you clay and stuff. I'll dump in straw, I'll dump in clay. It's going to be amazing, basically, is what's going to happen. You don't have to do anything right now, uh, because, you know, I'm not set up for it, but I wanted to plan ahead. Stick to the roads. I'm I'm simply not going to stick to the roads. But we might find some treasure, Alwyn. It's possible. And if you want to be a hunter, this is the how we do things. All right, Alwyn, keep your um. Oh, there's the Wesson. Keep your eyes peeled for free treasure. We'll split things um, 100%, 0% towards me that we find. 
because you're learning and I'm just giving you like you're gaining in skills and experience just watching an expert at work as I run wildly through the wilderness. Um, let me go to quests and uh, let's see here. No, 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 go to journal and then go to story quest and set that. There you go. And then it is this way. You see, this is how the expert does things. I mark things with my journal. I get the beeline. We're going to make it. We're also going to dig up a bunch of clay. All in, I'm going to give you the shovel and just see your form. It's good training. It's like strength training for you. Again, I keep the clay, but you gain, oh my God, in experience. Okay. We don't want to fight that. Wolf. Oh my God. All win. All win. Okay. All win. We've got a problem. Uh, oh my God. All win. What have you done, All win? Okay. All win. We're running. All win. It's not going well. Okay, so Alwyn, I hope you learned your lesson here about how to defeat wolves in combat. All right, so I wanted to switch to my weapon, but I kind of, like, wasn't ready for that, and I should have been. Uh, but luckily, Alwyn, I didn't die, which is the key. I'm going to eat a little bit here, Alwyn, and just kind of, uh, oops. I don't know what I did there, but... I do have some potions that I can use. I don't have anything for you, um, Alwyn, but I under you know, I hope you understand. Okay. So we'll get our health back later. Let's go ahead and just save the game because that was a little bit scary. And then I'm gonna select a different weapon. You know, my knife probably could do damage to them, but I'm so low on health that we don't have the luxury right now of, of doing anything like that. So are you sure, Alwyn, that you want to venture into this line of work? I mean, do you know how I was almost killed there? I know you weren't afraid, Alwyn, because you're brave. Um, but let's just say I'm going to need to change uh, my pants when I arrive back at the settlement. All right, let's stick to the road. You know, Alwyn, you really kind of suggested just running through the wilderness instead of sticking to the road, so I'm going to show you why it's so helpful. Oh, here's a spear of mine to uh, just kind of focus on the roads. Especially when you're new. It's how we live a little bit longer. You know what I mean? Alright, so back here. He's got more figurines which we can sell too. I'm going to go back to my shovel. I mean, honestly, I could have just probably hit that wolf with the shovel. I don't think anything likes getting hit with a shovel. So he's out here carving. God knows what. For reasons we can't possibly understand. Oh my god, look at that stockpile of them. We're rich. So come here every season to just get rich off of selling uh, folk art that has been crafted by Sam Bohr. Oh, and all this, like, wine as well. So he's out here drinking and crafting and... Uh, basically setting us up for life. This is kind of his backhanded way of providing for us. And I really appreciate it. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't come out and say it. He doesn't want the credit. 
but he just leaves these things here as almost like an inheritance. So we're getting a pretty decent amount of clay. I'm going to have Dobmaster working at this when I get back. He thinks he's like going to be freeloading. He's like, oh, they gave me no jobs at this settlement. I just get to eat and everything's great. No, 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 buddy. You're going to be neck deep in Dob. I wonder if I can assign like town handyman and he just goes around and does, you know, maintenance. Yeah, the answer is probably no to this, but it would be nice. All right, so we're up to 97 clay. And that's more, you know... Oh, is there more over here? God, Sambor's clay pit is legendary. The one I found was uh, not too impressive. This is very, very uh, robust. Bursting at the clay seams, as it were. All right. Uh, it doesn't show up when I do Sight Beyond Sight, which is a little sad. Maybe if I get better at that, it would. All right, there's my clay. Oh, yes. So, Sam Bohr's clay situation is for I mean there's even some up here Sambor is like I built my house on a clay fortune I can appreciate that Sammy oh there's more figurines too and more clay we can trade these for a nice winter coat I wonder if I can start crafting winter clothing from... If I change the hunting situation to fur. And we can just be wearing, like, you know, rabbit fur coats and stuff. All right, there we go. I mean, that was a crazy amount of clay. All right. Samet, I need to know where to find Kestrel. I see, and you want to know it right away? Yes, because the matter is urgent and cannot wait. Yes. Splendid, then it seems I have all the leverage. I have an errand for you. Oh, come on, are you seriously going to exploit me? Precisely. All right, Sammy, what needs to be done? I need you to obtain some items for me, which are beets, onions, cabbages, and carrots. Are you kidding me? You want me to get your groceries? Just as the story gets so interesting... I'm going to be frank with you, boy. I don't care. Give me my food and you'll have your precious information. That's just poor storytelling right there. Nothing you can do about it. Maybe it's supposed to be funny or clever or cynical or whatever. Isn't there any other way? Don't I have a choice? I guess the way in which you obtain the vegetables is all the choice you get. That's simply lazy. Stop barking and go fetch, doggy. I hate this, Sambor. All right, so we got some more reputation. And we're doing slightly better, but now we have to get this guy a bunch of stuff. And let's see how much he wants. Oh my god, 20 of each. I'll have the cabbage, but everything else I'm probably just going to have to buy. I don't think I can... I don't know how quickly the... If it takes all season for the crops to grow, I think it does. So it's like, I'm not going to have that. Even if I planted it now, I'd have to wait till next season. Now some of these quests are just planned for like, you know, it take to take a long time. Uh, but anyway, ooh, 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 wait, 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 what do we got? Leather, speaking of stuff. Oh, that's a knife. Ah, stone knife. Well, no wonder you got wrecked. Stone knife. You gotta have better supplies than that. What's this over here? Mushroom. Oh, I just hurt Alwyn. Like, severely by doing... Oh, there's some fur, okay. Is there a money pouch down here? All right. This swampy area. My God, man. All right. So then let's check our journal, and we'll change it to Alwyn's story. And we have to go about 400 miles this way. I'll run this way. 
we quick saved it so if there's any more wolf attacks i'll just um i've slathered all in uh ribeye steak juices so they'll pull him down and we'll be able to use the precious moments that that gives us to make our escape All right, so we're going to run over here, and we've got some more quests to do. And then, yes, we are looking for windfalls like this. What is this? Well, there's five of the cabbage. I just got five. There's a copper. Oh, boy, copper hammer. Water skin. Now we're talking. You see, this is really how you can make your living, Alwyn. You can go hunt and risk your life. I, you know, applaud that. Uh, but you can also delegate a villager to do that and just pick up stuff that people have left near the side of the road. Your choice, Alwyn. All right, awesome. So now we're going to kind of just run along, get the daub going, and finish these fall quests. Everyone, this is a good place to end the episode. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you're still finding this series to be useful and fun. Take care. <laughs>